Hi, Scorpio. How are you? It's your girl, Alex, and I am here to bring you guys another reading. I hope life be lifing in a good way. So what do we got? What do we got? Hi, angels. <laughs> How are y'all doing? We all right. That's good. How's Scorpio doing? Perplexed. Ah, Scorpio needs some guidance. Ah, well, there's the chariot. All right, what do we have over here? Is it a tilt issue? Let's try that. All right, let's see. So we're off to see the wizard. Mmm, nice. Knight of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. I just heard, I just put that, that Nine of Swords and I kind of feel like some of you could receive an offer to return back to a chaotic job or toxic job. <sighs> it is too early, angels. At least let me get all the cards on the table, right? Um, I heard, oh, so women, you gonna make my life a living hell. Now you want me to come back? Ooh. <sighs> All right. Judgment. Okay, so somebody needs an answer. Judging. All right, bring me a clear, clear, clear message, please. If you don't mind, you know, if you're not too busy. Um, you have two choices to make. I feel like this five of wands could represent your current environment, Scorpio. I'm just kind of getting that feeling. As in your environment could be stressful, chaotic, you know, really busy, toxic, right? It, it just kind of feels like there are a bunch of different energies um, close to you. And what I just heard was this chaos could be interfering with your ability to make the de to make a decision. I feel like with the chariot, the emperor, and the knight of pentacles, the universe is like, go into the light, Caroline, right? Like, just go, just move forward, just jump, metaphorically, right? Scorpio's like, if you could just give me just a little bit more information, like, could you give me a hint, universe? Like, is it is it the job at... You know, AT&T or is it the job at Verizon? The universe is like, who gives a shit? Just take the job. <laughs> okay, so right out the gate, I got double water. That is Cancer and this is Pisces. This is your cousins, Aries, right? Your fellow Martian. This is also a Mars card that represents both you and Aries, right? So it's almost like... I feel like you could be anxious about making this decision. I feel like you have time to make the decision, but I feel like you are putting stress and pressure on yourself. And it's probably because you don't have all the information. Angels are saying that's why they clicked on this video. So it kind of feels like you're looking for some sort of guidance, some sort of clear answer from the universe on what to do. Three of Cups, that's a good sign. Ooh, Eight of Wands. Ooh. Now, I am using the employment storyline. Of course, this could resonate or this could apply to any other area of your life. Well, there's the lovers. Hmm, fast night, slow night, all right tower now that's scorpio <laughs> right the tower is full-blown scorpio so i have all three water signs on the table cancer pisces scorpio and you're stressed why are you stressed i know you ain't stressing over no ten of pentacles look you can get your teeth fixed with the ten of pentacles <laughs> you know shout out to all of my people with crooked teeth Five of Cups, you're disappointed. Okay, you don't want to be disappointed. That's what it is. So Scorpio, in true fashion, in true Scorpionic uh, fashion, 
sorry, I got a little, um, like my cards are rising up. So I thought one was flipped over. In true Scorpio fashion, you is analyzing the air, right? Um, two of Pentacles, yeah, you could have a choice in front of you. You could be going back and forth. You could be weighing and balancing, balancing and weighing on what decision is going to make you happy. You know you got to move soon. Um, I do feel like this could come into fruition around the August time frame. I kind of feel like ever since May, you might have said to your angels, ancestors, I got to go. Ah, I know I can't stay here, right? I kind of feel like there's this deep determination inside of you that's like, look, I got to go, okay? Now, here's where it gets tricky with the high, pre the hanged man and the hermit. Um, some of you have been in isolation. Um, angels are also saying, too, whatever this scenario is, it could be a shitty ass relationship, right? A shitty ass friendship, a shitty ass group association and affiliation. And I kind of feel like, again, ever since May, I kind of feel like you kept receiving messages from the universe that, yo, this ain't my cup of tea. It ain't even a shot of tequila. It ain't no hot chocolate, right? Something was not giving you the warm and fuzzy. And this is a paradox because the hanged man says, you know what? Let me try to um, look for a perspective outside of my own. Hopefully it's universal, right? Four, four, uh, sorry, the hanged man. It looks like a four upside down, right? But the hanged man is almost like, you know what? Let me kind of pause and just kind of give myself an opportunity to obtain another perspective well the hermit is going off on your own in solitude and hammering and hammering it out you know um angels just said to me you're not going to figure this out on your own it is going to require some sort of divine intervention um just also as a note too they said to me your answer may be in the monology cards okay so go go forward and be happy the chariot is moving forward happily and successfully joyously victoriously okay and it is to be closer to someone or something that you love let me explain that or give that an, an example for some of y'all who keep trying to push retirement back the chaotic work environment keeps trying to push you into retirement and you're like, no, I got five more months. Okay. The chariot with the lover's card is listen, just take the package. Just, just go, just be happy already. Just be without job. <laughs> you know what I mean? Chariot also kind of represents, you know, um, I don't have a couple on the table, right? I don't, I don't even have. You know, the emperor, again, is more of a fatherly figure versus, you know, a husband or, you know, he is a husband. Anyway, I just don't look at him as a mate. Okay. Um, but I don't have any couples on the table. But for some of you, the chariot could kind of represent, you know, kind of get in touch with, get in, get in alignment with, connect with that in which makes your soul sing or your heart sing. Again, it could be a person, it could be a place, it could be a thing, it could be an automobile, it could be a business, it could be a dog. It can be anything that just opens your heart and allows you to connect. I like that that uh, explanation, angels, by the way. Woo, ciao. So the emperor with the knight of swords. The emperor is the ruler. He's the cool chief rocker, the decision maker, the big kahuna, baller, shot caller, brawler. And I feel like here's your answer right here, right? Emperor is also my God card, okay? So if I see God here in a position of the just do it, go for it, take the chance, take a calculated risk, tell them, accept the position, you know, speak it into existence, right? It's almost like saying, listen, do it say it you know head towards it emphatically 
Now this is a really specific message for some Scorpios and I want to be clear. This is not for every Scorpio. For some of you, right, there could be some sort of disruption to your income. So in other words, that example where, you know, I'm waiting five months so I can retire, you may be laid off now. You know what I mean? Because again, the, I kind of feel like the universe is trying to move you on, right? It's like, go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not only that, but you got the emperor near the chariot. You know what I mean? So it's almost like it's ordained. It's divine. It's cosmic. And yeah, the Knight of Pentacles to me is steady income, right? It's it's um, security. It's you know, uh, you know, disability check. It's a uh, retirement check. It's Social Security check. There could be some sort of disruption to your income. And look at this. I love that. I love that. I get it now. You're stressed out because you're like, wait a minute, how am I going to get to the Ten of Pentacles if the Knight of Pentacles don't bring the Ace of Pentacles, right? But eh, poverty consciousness. Okay. Oh, you don't. Um, child. All right. So, you know. <sighs> I got to breathe so I don't get triggered. So over here, what I get is that God disrupted your finances to move you along into your dream job, your dream career, that business, right? That trip, whatever it is. Okay. And to an extent, it's almost like with the tower and 10 of pentacles, there was a breakthrough to get you to your 10 of pentacles, but you're not taking it that way. <sighs> For some of y'all, y'all done completely tripped out five of pentacles, five of cups. Y'all done lost your ever loving mind. Sorry, there's no other way to say that. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's no other way to say that. It's almost like instead of being faithful, y'all just lost your faith. It's like, where, where the trash at? Because I'm going to put all my faith, faith in the trash. Five of Cups and a Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is feeling left out. Six of Pentacles is feeling like you're getting crumbs, right? because of this disruption in your finances, you're like, oh shit, you know, I got bills, I got mortgage, I got this, I got that. How the hell am I gonna pay all these bills? And here's the answer. Uh, six and five, right, is 11, which is technically the page of pentacles, right? But you got the knight on the table. The 10 of pentacles is end all be all. So I kind of feel like with the tower and the nine of swords, it's almost like the universe basically saying to you, Scorpio, listen, I, the tower was not meant for you to see it as a breakdown. The tower was meant for you to see it as a breakthrough, as in the universe clearing a path for you. But right now, some of y'all don't see that, right? And please don't leave me no shitty comments. Oh, well, I got bills to pay. I'm on unemployment. I'm this, I'm that. That's this mentality right there. Just stressed, worried, anxious, ain't sleeping at night, ain't got your hair done, your nails look like shit, right? Like, <laughs> sorry, I just hurt myself. All right, so whomever or whatever or wherever you were receiving money from, however you were making your money, it feels like there was some sort of shortage. Let me peel because I'm being told to look at that. I can't make this up. I can't. I'm not that intelligent. I'm not. <laughs> the world card completeness, right? Your whole world. The Knight of Cups, that recipro reciprocal love, that two-way love, that love of freedom and joy. And you know what I mean? And it was, it, it's wrapping out this cycle of stress, worry, anxiety, bullshit, you know, toxicity, whatever. So we can usher in, usher in, connect you to more things and more people who will love you and you will eventually love. So God, this is a shitty one. All right.
I didn't mean that to God, by the way. But I just kind of feel like the message here is if there was any sort of break down of your finances, again, that's because some sort of breakthrough is planned. Universe is saying to you, Scorpio, hold steady, keep going. Do not go off on your own, get a blanket, you know, a bottle of tequila, go sit up on a house and drink yourself into oblivion. Universe is going, is wanting you to trust it and kind of understand, hey, whoa, we're doing this in your favor. Now, what I just also heard too is where the hell is your intuition in all of this? And I understand right now it's blocked by the negative thoughts. Now it makes sense, the two of pentacles and the six of six, uh, sorry, the three of cups, because the two of pentacles is like, well, what am I going to do? I'm going to have to rob Peter to pay Paul. Rob Tanya to pay, to pay Lisa. You know how they, how they use biblical name? Rob Peter to pay Paul. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, so what else we have? Uh, God, can you give us some more information on Scorpio's money to help relieve their stress? Hmm. Ace of Swords, truth and clarity, mental strength, courage, and clarity. Very interesting. Scorpio, I'm telling you, right? I got an ace of swords. I got the nine of swords. That's 10 swords. The 10 of swords is, you know, that victim mentality. The woe is me. Uh, the hanged man. Did I do that right? Yeah, I did. Uh, hanged man is getting a different perspective. Mm-hmm. And, and the different perspective to me is not for you to look at this situation from your human eyes, but to look at it from a spiritual standpoint, an energetic standpoint, whereas, you know, the world card represents cycles, seasons, you know what I mean? I kind of feel like, um, <laughs> that's funny. My angels just said some of y'all was wanting the ending, but you didn't want the ending to happen until you had a backup plan. So it kind of feels like the universe is pulling the rug from up under your feet. And you're like, hold on, where's the backup plan? And we're saying to you, you're, the backup plan is your faith. Ooh. Oh, that's a hit snapper. Four of Cups. Four of Cups is taking things for granted. Some of y'all are frozen. Fight, flight, freeze. You're right now. You're frozen. Ain't no fight. <laughs> Ain't no flight. Scorpio is stuck. Okay, and I know you need answers. I'm coming. I'm coming, baby. Two of Pentacles. Okay. Two of Pentacles. What's the Two of Pentacles? Let's read that. Two of Pentacles is juggling responsibilities. Oh, Angel said put up the thing because people are going to want to know. That's the deck I'm reading from. You can get it on Amazon. That's this um, third third row. Okay. The other two decks are just generic decks off decks off of Amazon. Chariot is ambition, drive, focus, confident about success, in control, willful direction, self-discipline. Go forth and be happy, Scorpio. King of Wands. King of Wands is boldly, yeah, take the bull by the horns. Mm hmm. Okay, different storyline. Thank you. So, for some of you who are working a regular everyday job and now you have this new opportunity that's coming in, 
Um, I feel like you're going to be weighing and balancing and trying to figure out, well, do I stay where I am? Where I am or do I move into this new position? The answer, clear cut, emphatically, move into the new position. You got the chariot here twice. You got the king of wands, which is balls to the walls, get her done. You have the knight of swords, which is balls to the ball to the walls, get her done, right? Um, and the world in the um, knight of cups, which kind of says when you enter this new cycle, when you leave one cycle and enter a new one, there's going to be a greater flow of love, hence happiness. Look, blunt, outspoken, uh, persuasive, quick thinking, uh, bold ideas, uh, tax problems, likes to debate. So the Knight of Swords is basically saying, go for it. Get in there. Be a little bit more aggressive and driven and ambitious. Five of Swords, conflict, argument, fighting without scruples. That's a good word, scruples. Hollow victory, okay? So this kind of says to me, and notice where it's fallen. The original card up here is the Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles. Now we see the Five of Swords. And here's the Five of Wands. So you got all four fives on the table, Scorpio, which kind of says that, um, you can either stay where you're at and what you're used to, or you can move into something better, but it's a bit unknown. Another way I can say that is this is the age old argument between the devil you know and the devil you don't know. The devil you know is your current comfort zone and environment. It's shitty, but you know, I'm familiar with it, so I'm comfortable. I know where all the exits are, I know where all the demons are, so I'm good. You know what I mean? Um, but moving on into an environment where you don't know where all the demons are, you don't know where all the exits are, that shit is a little intimidating. Okay. But you know, the judgment here with the five of cups, is like, you know, kind of like the universe judging you and saying like, dude, chica, you asked for this and we brought it to you. But because you're not comfortable, are you seriously saying to us you may not take it? I don't know who that was for. Look, I can't make I can't make this up. The star is hope, um, optimism, um, uh, replenish, pay it forward, spiritually, emotionally restored or healed okay so with the star card um this is what you wished for scorpio's like but it don't feel good the universe is like who gives a shit it doesn't feel good right now but it will right are you saying to us that you're gonna hold yourself back because it doesn't feel good or are you gonna trust us and get on board partner <laughs> i gotta go all right. <laughs> okay, I'm getting there. <laughs> All right. So who's this reading for? For you could you could even be an airy sun with the Scorpio rising, or vice versa, Scorpio sun, Aries rising. Um, I feel like you have one of the water signs in your moon position cancer pisces scorpio in the moon position sidebar i always leave a link in the description box of every video for you to be able to look up your birth chart so birth chart meaning um just the planets as in sorry you can look up both your planets and your houses but your planets as in sun and Scorpio, moon and Taurus, you know, um, uh, Venus and, you know, Taurus, right? Whatever that is. Um, there's a link in the description box. If you are interested in your rising sign, right? You need your time of birth, but just your standard birth chart. You do not need your time of birth. Okay. Moonology. Moonology manifestation. Let me hold up the box. Got those? Yes. 
Amazon. All right, what do we have? Find a balance. Ooh. Yeah, for, ooh, look, 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 look. All right, you got the two of pentacles and the five of wands. Some of y'all are grossly out of balance. And I feel like you're trying. Let me acknowledge that, Scorpio. I feel like you're trying to find that beautiful balance. I just kind of feel like the circumstances in your life right now are grossly interfering with your ability to find balance. Now, I say this to you lovingly, and it is coming directly from my angels. You may have other things going on in your life right now that may be making balance difficult, but we are still 100% expecting your, your ass to balance it out. Mm -hmm. And again, I will say to y'all, could you imagine if the earth on its axis, if it was not balanced on its, its, its axis, can you imagine if the earth wobble wobbled? <laughs> we would be different people. Oh God, my angels just said our bodies would be zigzag. That's weird. I don't, all right, anyway, um, could you imagine if, you know, the seasons and sometimes they motherfucking do, right? It's like 90, 100 degrees. Then the next day it's like 32. <laughs> Can you imagine if there are no seasons, right? Like if, if, you know, live in Atlanta and I'm pretty sure other places around the world, you get all four seasons in one day, right? You start up, it's winter. Then by, you know, 11 o'clock, it could be spring. Summertime is hell hot. And then at the nighttime, it's a beautiful fall evening all in one day. But imagine if we didn't have any seasons, right? If one day it was 100 degrees, the next day it was 40 degrees, the next day it was 85 degrees, the next day it was 60 degrees, the next day it was negative two. You see what I mean? Like, you know, it, it balance is essential. All right. All right, angels. All right. I'm going to keep going. <sighs> Forgive. Are you at battle with someone? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because you got all four fives. All four of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Four and five is 20. 20 breaks down to a two. Two represents a couple, two people, right? Not only that, but the energy in our known universe is po it's polar, as in left, right, up, down, white, black. You know, um, it's, it's opposing, it's equal opposites, okay? So perhaps you're in a situation where Something feels counterintuitive, it feels paradoxical, it feels upside down, it feels, it feels, um, you feel out of alignment. Oh. Relax, don't do it. All right, so we got find balance, forgive, and relax. So somebody's in turmoil. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know. Step into your power. Hot diggity damn. Step in. Yeah. The universe is like, don't be a bitch, Scorpio. You got this. I made you. You a part of me. What the fuck you mean you don't know what to do? <laughs> oh, my God. That sounds like a Mr. T life coach. I pity the fool who fuck with Scorpio. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go now. <laughs> I'm going to go now. I feel bad for all of the Gen, Gen Zers who don't know who Mr. T was or didn't see Rocky 3, I think it was. <laughs> um, yeah, go watch Rocky 3 and you'll see who Mr. T is. I think that's the one with Mr. T. Um, so you're in a bind and you need to make a decision. Per the universe, follow your heart, go forward, take a chance, take a calculated risk, take a leap of faith. If you ask for something via law of attraction, universe answers your prayer, checked all your boxes, you have to move forward. You have to move forward, Scorpio. 
And this is not a matter of just moving forward nervously or scared. This is moving forward, you know, like a G, right? I got the King of Wands here. Are you kidding me? Um, the Knight of Swords, King of Wands, Five of Swords. Um, Five of Swords to me is my ghosting card, right? So if you have to get up and go, drop everything and go, yeah, it could be that kind of situation. Now, you know, be sensible about it. Are we saying, hey, leave your newborn in the, in the crib and go get that job, girl, or dude, or fellow? No, <laughs> no, that's not what we're saying. We're, be, we're saying be sensible, but go get that damn opportunity, right? Okay. Anything else from my angels? Bubble? Bubble? Star card. Your hopes, your dreams, desires. The judgment and the five of, of cups. We never said it would be easy, but we did all we will always say it's gonna be worth it. And that ain't mine, by the way. That's a quote, I don't know who said it. But yeah, it's not going to be easy, but it'll damn sure be worth it, Scorpio. Okay? I love y'all. If the reading resonates, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye. I love you.